Hello guys, in today's video I would like to show you how to create a MetaHuman model with Unreal, RTC360 and Cyclone3DR. I chose the RTC360 as a sensor for scanning myself for different reasons. First, because I have it and it was interesting for me, is it possible or not? Second, I tried to scan myself with a few mobile applications, but doesn't get a nice result of head shape. Third, almost all mobile applications give you a good texture quality, but the mesh is not so accurate. And fourth, for getting really good results with photogrammetry, you need some assistance. But I had the target to do it by myself without any help. So I decided that for me will be the easiest way to use the RTC360 with a mobile application for remote control. Control Field 360. I scanned myself at a medium resolution in a various head position. I made about 5 setups and imported them into Register 360. Actually, I think it's possible even with the one scanner setup, but I decided to do more just in case. In the software, I deleted everything except my head and exported it to E57 by setups to have the ability to use that scan separately. Next, I imported all scans to Cyclone 3DR and stitched them together by manual transitions and the best fit common. For that, you need manually move and align all scans close to each other and then click the best fit tool. The first setup, I choose the reference and all other were automatically stitched to it as accurately as possible. You should know that with the Field 360 version 4.0 and above, you'll be able to clean and export scans to E57 directly from your phone or tablet, so you could skip the step of importing and cleaning them in Register 360. After aligning, you should group all scans in a single point cloud and delete hairs and some noisy points. You could use clean separate tool for that and the noise filter tool. If you left your hair, then they will be used for head shape extraction in Unreal, so you'll get a little bit bigger ahead than it is. The next step is to create a single mesh from all clouds, which you could do in different ways. I choose the create mesh in two steps. This method is fast and provides you with pretty nice quality. For the first step this way, you need to create a rough mesh and with the second step, it should be improved with the refining tools. You could use the same setting as I did. If you have some bad triangles in the hair and neck zone, just select them with the clean separate tool, which is located on the surface modeling toolbar, and click the delete button. After the creation of meshes, is done, we could be able to send it to Unreal for head shape extraction. But I recommend to you add texture on your mesh before that, because Unreal detects eyes and mouth much better when your mesh has a texture. For that, I imported to the Cyclone 3 just one picture with the front view of my face. Select it and go to Texturing Estimate Pose tool. This function allows you to estimate the position and the rotation of picture coming from a camera. Give a point in the image view and its corresponding position in the 3D view to define points per the computation is large when 4 pairs have been defined. I advise you more than 7, especially when working out with lens distortions. When all points will be done, click OK, select oriented image and face mesh and click the standard texture button. You will see now your mesh got texture from photo image. Now we got the realistic looking face, let's export it to FBX format. But you should notice that Unreal could read this file with other measurement units, so before exporting, resize your mesh and cyclone setup with the resize tool that is located on the transformation ribbon bar, or change the import uniform settings while importing the 3D model into the Unreal project. To extract from your scan a head shape in the Unreal Engine, you should have to do these steps. Create an Epic Games user account, install the Unreal Engine, Install the MetaHuman plugin and create a MetaHuman user account or use your Epic Games account. Run the Unreal Engine and create a new blank project. After it will be loaded, go to Edit menu and open the plugin browser tab. Search the MetaHuman plugin and enable it. After that, your project will be restarted. Now let's import our mesh to Unreal. Go to Counter Drawer, Control and Space, click the right mouse button to the empty space and select Import from File Asset to this folder. Select your FBX file. In the Import options, don't forget to change units if you didn't do it previously in Cyclone 3DR. After import, you will see in the Contour Drawer menu all your materials. Next, click again with the right mouse button to the empty space and select the menu MetaHuman. Choose the MetaHuman identity, assign to it any name and open it with a double click. In the appeared window, you need to do the below steps. Add components from Mesh and select the UFBX file. Adjust the camera position straight up your face. Select the neutral pose. Click plus Promote Frame. Click track, active frame. 
After that you should see the green lines and circles that contour your eyes and mouth. If you'll be not happy with the result you could select them and adjust them as you want. After all correction will be done click these buttons Meta Human Identity Solve, Template Mesh, switch to B view and you will see the MetaHuman template head. Now our model is almost ready for editing on the MetaHuman side. All that you need to do is select body, choose one of the template and define the height, publish by clicking mesh to MetaHuman and wait until upload will be finished. Now go to MetaHuman and RealEngine.com login and you will see that your model is uploaded. Click the edit selected button to start editing your model. Here you can add and adjust skin color, hair, eyes, teeth, clothes, height, weight and much more. Also you could edit the head shape and face elements if you are not so happy with the result. I used the Pure Ref software for placing my image as a reference on the screen and edit a little bit some shapes. At the end you could upload this model to Unreal Engine and then export it to use in other applications. So guys I hope you will like this video, please tell me what you think about the result. Does this face look similar to mine or maybe not? Now I think we should wait for the moment where the HXDR will let us use this avatar to interact with the digital copy of the real world in the metaverse.